M0 FX3 Radtail RT860. Let's load version 1.05 firmware. We'll just double click it here. Of course, the link is in the description. The firmware is available on the Radtail site. If we look at the upgrade here, fixed issue with zone switching. Radio did not respond after changing channels. Refactored spectrum, expanded shortwave frequency to 30 megs and your QR code now gets you the manual. I've also seen some GPS software out there, so I'm going to have a little play with that as well, where it links the GPS on your PC and you get this really nice view. Anyway, back to the radio. So we've connected the cable just here, UV5R cable. They're on Amazon, eBay. They're not expensive. And plugged it into our PC. We've got the firmware file that you double click here and the firmware is inside the file. Click more info and then run anyway at your risk. This is the firmware. It's at the top. It says 1.05 that you can just see there. So we need to get the right COM port. Right click your Windows square device manager. And mine is actually quite high. You can change your COM number, but anyway, COM here. And look, 63, USB to serial COM port 63. So we know what the number is. So we're going to select 63, and then it tells you, connect the cable, which we've done, press and hold the PTT while turning on the radio. So remember, this doesn't work the first time, just do it again. So the radio is off, PTT press, turn on. Now what I did, just to make sure that the radio was reading and writing, I just read a few memory channels just to make sure that the cable was what doing its thing. So OK, and then click the upgrade button. So we just click here and the numbers start to change. So nice, easy process. I'm not seeing that there's a massive change to the radio, but it's always nice to have the latest firmware. I think the more interesting one is going to be the GPS because I'm finding that the UV88 and the 860 do have a GPS selection in there. I've also seen that there's a PC Connect selection as well. Um, so I'm going to have a little play and see if I can get that working. A friend of ours, Andre, on that Bradtail site has got it working. So anyway, so it looks like we're all loaded. I mean, everything looks the same, I think. Pretty sure. Let's take out this. Signal meter looks... I'm not going to with you anyway, because... Uh, Only such a good radio, come on. VHF, UHF, HF bands, even does CB if you really want it to. It's lovely looking radio. But anyway, menu, basic set, go up one, select. We are now version. No, it's a bit out of focus. 1.05. That's the process. Let's have some fun. Bye for now.